Yo, what up, Stomp? Bam. I'm here with your boy, MPKH, unfiltered, filtered. I don't think there's much time for him to decide which persona he's going to pick today because we got some breaking news. Uh, it's as of recording, we are recording on our time. It's Wednesday the 7th at quarter to 7 at night. So things could change. That's that's all I'm saying. This is going out tomorrow morning, but things could change. So we've got suspensions in AEW. Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, Brandon Cutler, Pat Buck, sorry, Michael Nakazawa, Christopher Daniels, all suspended from AEW. Punk's situation is, isn't clear, and Ace Steel is off the road. This is per Sports Illustrated, and I'm reading the Sean Ross Saps tweet. So, what are your initial thoughts on this? Um, I will say that this is the correct choice that they've made because the situation got out of hand. And I also think, yeah, um, Ace Steel and CM Punk also deserve some huge repercussions for this so how long uh, did they report how long they're going to get suspended for uh or, not on sean ross's tweet but i doubt that was put out there i don't right, think that was right. put out there as of yet hmm. so what does this mean do they does the elite get stripped from their trios tag titles or I suppose just, it depends how long the suspension is. If it's a Eddie Kingston suspension, which I think was like two, three weeks, I doubt they'd get stripped. Yeah. But if it's if it's longer than that, they probably could. They probably could. Which would be quite a bad look on the company. I know it's already gone to shit, but I don't think it would look very good if their titles are getting stripped and this and that's happening and chaos all around and all I know is we cannot have interim champions right now because we've established that interim champions, no, just no. And I don't think you deserve the interim title or the interim, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think you deserve to be champion still and have someone be an interim if you're being suspended. Clearly you're being suspended Same. for a reason, so you shouldn't deserve that title. So I think stripping them of the title is the right decision. If it's for a long period of time, that is. Mm -hmm. That's that's true. And also, um, it's a little crazy to me that I'm hearing Christopher Daniels and uh, be suspended, really, because I haven't heard anything from. I haven't heard any bad things about Daniels throughout the confrontation. Yeah, it's a bit so. wild. He's head of talent relations, so we don't know if he stirred the pot. With regards to the Bucks and Kenny before they stormed Punk's uh, locker room. We don't know how he got involved during the situation. Because, I mean, if you're head of talent, you're going to be involved in some way or another. So, mm -hmm. it's interesting to see. Also, Michael Nakazawa. Not sure who he is exactly. I might, it might have just left my mind for a moment. But he's also been suspended. Brandon Cutler, I'm sure he must... He is probably recording the whole thing, so that's why he's suspended. <laughs> yeah, most likely, because because you're holding that camera, so he, yeah, I yeah. understand. So, yeah, but I'm worried... Well, not worried. That's the wrong choice of words, but Punk and Ace Steel not having a suspension to their name as of yet could mean something worse is on the way. Hmm. Because they're not going to yeah. get away with it. Definitely not Ace Steel. And Punk shouldn't get away with it either. Yeah, most definitely. Because I think if you're going to set an example, like suspend Kingston for punching Sammy Guevara, even though it was deserved, but I digress. If you're going to suspend Kingston for doing for punching Sammy in the face for like three weeks and you're going to suspend your EVPs, then yeah, I think you should be able to keep that same energy. For sure, for even sure regardless of whether or not you're the top you have the top draw on your company or not so do you think punk's gonna join the unemployment line soon that's that's crazy man because hey firstly this is like i don't know i don't know how to make of the situation but if if he is then i definitely know that some of that most of the views that AEW establishes is gonna plummet if they release him, but I'll understand 
why they did it, but from a business standpoint, I don't think CM Punk will be fired. I think he'll suffer a suspension, he'll strip him of the belt, and they'll suspend him without pay. Simple as that. Yeah, I honestly think... I don't know about the simple part, but you get what I mean. Yeah, I honestly think Punk's gonna get fired. I honestly mm. think so. Because if he was getting a suspension, then he'd be in this list. You get what I'm saying? Sure. That's what I think. Either that, or he's getting away scot-free. Which is a yeah, whole that, nother issue. Yeah, and that would that would be so unfair to every single person in that locker room. It would be so unfair. So unfair to the people involved. Unfair to Eddie Kingston. Unfair to, to be honest, some of the fans who think that he's being a toxic bitch. <laughs> so... He should definitely get suspended and serve the same penalty as the rest involved. If not worse, because he went into business for himself. Mm. But also, uh, now that I think about it, I want to ask you a question. Do you think that Hangman also played a, played a role in all of this? Because a few months, like a couple of months ago, into the rivalry for the world title a double or nothing he was about to mention i think he somewhat mentioned Cole cabana without saying his name but that i think that's the whole that's like the whole reason as to why this thing started so we think hangman is at fault look i'm sure this. hangman's played his part in terms of his promos on punk because that seems to be where the situation come from came from but is that deservant of what's happened from here on outwards I don't think so. I think punk, punk is just going on and on and on about a situation that could be resolved quite quickly. That's I how it is. If Hangman did something wrong, fine. Hangman did something wrong. Punk's not in the wrong there. But punk's reaction to it is completely wrong. Punk's reaction to it has gone overboard. So that's mm. the way I look at it yeah for sure i do think that's true and again also, some of the blame is on tony khan for allowing these people to speak say whatever they want in promos because if he's allowed hangman to say whatever he wants and hangman has said this that's on tony as well mm -hmm. because yeah scripts of promos is one thing but free reign on promos is another thing exactly and it stems to the whole cm punk calling out hangman which wasn't scripted it stems to the whole uh taking shots at every wrestler it stems to basically the last the past month that cm punk has been on a fucking rampage and been chaotic exactly in the aw exactly even uh sammy guevara and the eddie kingston situation stemmed from a promo where sammy was calling eddie fat it wasn't yeah, a behind like... the scenes thing it was on tv but i think it was edited out because it was rampage mm, for sure yeah i can definitely see that so, yeah sticky situation sticky sticky situation oh it definitely is because this caught this made the world of wrestling like on its toes like People are even getting headaches. I'm sure wrestling journalists are getting headaches from reporting this story. Even us, we're getting a headache from talking about this. Jesus. It's getting annoying. It's getting like enough. But we've got to do what we've got to do. Yeah, enough is enough, man. Really. But yeah. Uh, also, this Ace Steel's guy, like, for mm -hmm. sure, he definitely, this Ace Steel guy, mm -hmm. he definitely is fired. <laughs> bro i don't know who this guy is <laughs> i really don't know where he came from oh uh, yeah this a steel guy s yes, because biting because biting your evp bro that's unacceptable man bro he, even you need to, go to an asylum for that yes sus. you can see this guy is not made for a like a corporate company like aw i know so corporate do you know what i mean because his promo on dynamite he swore when he wasn't supposed to he got fined for that first mistake Bro. now he's fighting people in the back 
So like this guy's clearly not made for a top level company. Exactly. Whoever he like, is. I don't care if you're friends with Punk. I don't care. Like, bro, that's completely unacceptable. Yeah. Who do you think you are? A fucking vampire. Yes. Sus. Bro, biting people is actually like it's it's a dirty like it just shows your character. If you bite yeah. someone in a fight, bro, it's like you're going all out dirty. If you're actually throwing punches. I know this is a weird topic, but it's like it shows what type of person you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even try and bring up the fact that Shayna Shayna Baszler bit Becky Lynch back in 2020. That was scripted. We yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean we must look at. Sorry, that doesn't mean we must look at Shayna Baszler as a fucking vampire, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. No, anyway. man. I think that's us for this video. Uh, if Punk gets fired, it happens. If he doesn't, it doesn't happen, but he needs some sort of punishment. He can't get away scot-free because then Tony is just giving more power to Punk. So, uh -huh. and it's that's us. Gonna look yeah. For everybody. yeah. And for your company as exactly. well. So that's us. Uh, please stomp on that like button. Stomp on that subscribe button. Stomp on that bell notification button so you can get notified every time we drop a video which is daily content as you know um we'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and it's just been too sweet, sweet.